Everything Hi. homemade! Yes, and with everything homemade, and today we are going to do a germination test on um, several seeds that are old. And before we start growing them, we want to know if they are actually going to germinate. Um, this is my five-year-old Grace, and she's going to give me a hand, and I want to say a thank you to Ocean, who is eight and is filming. So let's start. Where do we start? So first of all, I have um, just some water in this bowl, and this is just for simplicity here because I'm filming here and I'm not beside a sink. Um, paper towel, spray bottle, painter's tape. Uh, I have two Ziploc bags here. You can use sandwich bags. I just don't have any, so I'm using these ones here. Um, and then seeds right? Mm -hmm. um, so this seed here is, um, you see the label Signet, and that is to tell me that they're the old-fashioned marigold. Um, these are beautiful. They kind of grow in a dome with hundreds of little yellow flowers. They are beautiful. So, but they, the seeds are three years old. Um, these seeds here, um, Calendula, is um, like eight years old like we're talking old and I want to grow a whole bunch here on the acreage um, since we moved I want to flower it up but I have a lot of seeds here and I want to see um, how much I need to broadcast how many I need to start and that's all gonna come down to germination test so the first thing we need to do is grab some paper towel so Grace I'll give you this and you can fold it like mommy folds can you do that yeah. yep so we fold it in half then we fold it in half again perfect Okay, oh, hey, so what we're going to do is grab this bowl. Nope, just leave that there. We're going to take the paper towel and we're going to submerse it in water, just like that, and wring it out. And so it's nice and moist. So Grace, you want to do that too? Put it in the water. Yep, yeah, put your hand right in there. Good job. Okay, and then we're going to wring it out. All right, so take that one now. Yeah, do like mommy just did. Yeah, and it's quite strong, like you can, perfect. So now place it in front of you. And we're just gonna grab a piece here and dry off my hands. So dry off your hands and just place it over there. Okay, no, but not right now, please. Um, so let's take a look here. So what we want to do is we want to do a percentage of 100. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to do 10 seeds. And we want to count how many out of 10 germinate to give us a percentage. So with these here, I want you to count 10 seeds out of here and put them in the middle. Okay, I'm going, to, or do you want to do these ones? Mm -hmm. These ones I think will be easier for you. So let's swap here. So I'll do 10 here. So, yeah. So I'm going to grab some seeds. And this one here, so we have one, so we have uh, five, six, seven, one, two, eight, nine, ten. Put that back. Beautiful, wonderful, okay, awesome. So I'll take that now. This variety um, is a variety pack, so there's lots of different colors. So we're gonna move that one there and we're gonna put them all into the middle, just like that. All right, so now we take the spray bottle. So Grace, you copy me after. We take the spray bottle and what I like to do is just spray some water over them. That way it kind of just kickstarts them, gets them going with some water. So you do the same thing that mommy just did. Yeah. And get your kids involved. They love doing this and it teaches them some really good skills. That's good. That's good. All right, so what we're going to do now is fold it in half and then gently just press it down. Beautiful. And uh, we take painter's tape now. And because I want to reuse these bags after, I don't want to write on the bags. 
And so what I want to do is put the name of the plant on here. And I'm going to put ST for start. And today's date is the 21st of January. So I'm going to put 21st of January. Okay, start. I should really put January on here. Um, then that's it. And then we take, so I got, this is your bag here. So what you want to do is put that in the bag like mommy's going to do here. Okay. So we take it. Put it in the bag. Awesome. And I think you lost a little seed there, Munchkin. Yeah. So we'll just plop that seed back in there. And then we close it up. We don't take the air out of the bags. Okay. We want a little bit of air and we close it up. So why do we put it in the bags? One, so the paper towel doesn't dry out. Um, two, it creates um, high humidity. So you give them the best possible chance of um, germination. So high humidity, moisture, there's enough air in here. Um, you don't have to be concerned. And then you find a nice um, favorable place for it to be. So in this case, I may put them up um, in a warm spot. It's about 20 degrees in the house. So it's on the counter somewhere, anywhere around here. Um, if you have one of those old fridges that, that have a lot of heat that come off the top, put it on there. That's always a good warm, natural warm spot. And then wait a week. Check it and we'll come back after a week and give and, and check to see what um, has, has um, germinated. Sometimes I check after five days because some seeds really germinate fast like the marigolds. So we'll just check and uh, see what happens to our results and see where how well the seeds um, germinate. Now, a word here, every seed is a bit different. So if you have parsley seed, if you have um, seeds from cold climate that need to be stratified first, so put in the freezer, you've got to do those steps before you do a germination test. Otherwise, your germination test isn't going to come up true. These are warm um, climate plants. So I don't need to stratify them or do anything to them before they germinate. Um, so just keep that in mind to what seeds you are trying to do a germination test to. So I guess we'll see you be between five days in a and a week. Hi everyone, we're back here five days later. Let's check out our seeds. Are you ready, Grace? Yeah. Okay. Which one do you want to check out? This one. This one? Yeah. Alright, so open that up. Okay, and just pull it out. Okay, now open it up. Right there. Okay, so take a look. Take a look. What do we got germinated? Well, we got this seed that's germinated, isn't it? So it's one. And does that look like, oh, there's a little sprout, so that's two. Okay. Three. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Six, and this one's going to sprout two, so seven. So seven out of ten. So right now we got 70%. So let's take a look at this seed. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to do more. Just hold it still, Nova, please. Uh, and this one, this one actually looks like it might actually germinate too. So we've only got 80%. So I would say between 70 and 80% on the calendula so or calendula i always pronounce that first wrong calendula okay um about Ooh. 70 to 80 percent so that's not bad at all considering that they are eight years old okay so let's put that aside and let's open this one up is it still in there? okay so these are the marigolds okay so let's take a look here so let's so we definitely have one here that's well sprouted. Annika, you need to just sit and be still for a second. You can look at them after. But I do not see anything else sprouted. These are three year old seeds, so our germination rate is one is ten percent, which is um, very, very bad. Um, so what we need to do if I want to use these seeds, cast them exceptionally heavy for anything to germinate, uh, which definitely tells me what I need to do. And uh, so that is my 
Over here, Nova. So that is my germination test. Um, and that really gives me an idea of how thick I need to sow something if I want to use those seeds. Um, and these ones here did really well. I'm actually quite impressed. I would have thought um, the opposite would have happened, but that's why we do these. So do this on your garden seeds, especially if they're older or even if they're recent, to give you an idea of how thick you need to sow or even if anything will germinate. If you have any questions, please ask me. I love answering them. Um, I've also noticed just a warning to everyone that for some reason when you ask a question, about one out of every 10 people, um, I can click on it to reply, but nothing shows up on the feed and it's becoming a really frustrating thing for me um, that uh, I have to wait five or six, sometimes a month before I can actually reply before that your reply or your question actually shows up all the way. I see it, but I cannot respond. So if there is no response um, to your question, this is why. Um, otherwise, I check every night if I can. I respond to everyone. And if you don't hear from me almost within a day, it is because your question is sitting there. I can see it. I can click on it. But it will not actually show up for me to reply. I don't know why. Um, if that doesn't, if that happens, ask it again, submit it again and see if it com comes through. Otherwise, I always answer all of your questions. Um, if you have any, anything else to add, um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Enjoy your day and um, happy growing.